to the daily drawer at the end of the week here. We have got such a treat. I love this one. It's really, really, really cute. Uh, Elizabeth, her, it was Elizabeth's suggestion. She loves this movie. We're going to be doing Bee Movie today and um, we've got this fabulous bee for you. So let's get drawn. <laughs> Okay, let's get started with Barry B. Benson. Um, I, I think this is such a fun, uh, bright, lovely uh, drawing and I'm not allowed to say anything about jazz. I'm under strict instructions from my children. So how are we gonna do this? How are we gonna build this drawing up? We've got, um, we're gonna start here with this big circle and then build on these shapes at the bottom. Start adding in some details. The arms look complicated, but if we break it down, we can really uh, grab that and then we'll finish with it and then we'll go on to the painting. So let's get started here with that very first one. And I want a nice big circle. Let me think about where the middle of that page is. It's about there. And in fact, the circle goes right round it. So I'm gonna put a nice dot there I'm going to put that there and that there. That's going to really help me to get this circle right. It's really important drawing circles that you don't grip your pencil really tight or press hard. Move your hand up the pencil and keep that pencil grip really soft. I'm going to put in a mark there and a mark there and that will really help me try to... So instead of trying to worrying about doing a full circle here, all I'm going to do... Let's see, have we got that? Is it too big? No, I think it's going to be about right. So, yeah, so there we go. Nice circle one, two. It feels really big. That's why I checked that. So, if you really feel like, oh my goodness, there's no way the head's going to be this big. The head would totally dominates this um, drawing. It's really oversized for all these brilliant facial expressions. So that's the circle. So we've started with that nice big circle. And then what I'm going to think about here, if I bring this in so you can see, I'm going to put in these two lines here. Now, if that's halfway, you see, we're just going a little bit there to that side and then up here and a little bit there. And then that bit is going to curve up. Right, he's starting to come now, isn't he? And then we're just going to, this bit's really easy. We're going to sweep this line down here into a bit of a curve. I don't think there's a straight line in this drawing, to be honest. Everything is curved. I'm going to come to there, come out, and then take that there. And then we've got another line here, but even that is going to curve off and go down. So can you see we've started that? I think that's the key. These are the most important shapes. If you can get that circle and if you can build those shapes, around. Now I want you to look at this shape within the shape. Look at that triangle there. So coming down, what I've got is the start of a triangle coming round. And here I'm going to take that off there like that, draw a little line. And look at that shape. Just look at the shape there. Don't think arm, elbow, anything. Just look at the shape coming round to there. Now I'm going to pop two little lines in there, one, two, and then finish with these wings. If I put that up there, that will really help me. So I'm going to go up, down for that wing. This one's at a little bit of an angle. But all Even though they're, that's seeming like a line, there's still such curves in all of this. Okay, so that's it. That's our first shapes in. That big circle, really think about how big it is. If I go on my pencil, can you see? It's about halfway up my pencil. If you've got the pack, the daily draw pack, um, that's a good way of measuring it. You can go from the bottom of your pencil up to there to the top of the writing. That's how big the circle is. And I'm doing this on watercolor paper because I'm gonna paint my Barry. If you don't have watercolor paper, don't worry about it. Just do it on whatever you can. You can use pens pencils, uh, crayons, whatever you've got. I'm using this watercolour pencil here, which is in my pad. You can see there's, um, we've got Yoshi from um, last week, Sonic the Hedgehog, etc. So nice thick watercolour paper, which is what you need if you're going to use the pencils. All this comes in the pack. Right, let's stop there, get those shapes in, take your time over this bit, really take your time. This is the most important bit, everything else, the details will all come nicely after this. <music> OK, 
Okay, so if you've got all your basic shapes in there, let's have a look what we're going to do now. The next thing here, we're going to bring this line here and then we're just going to pop in a little shape for his nose and the start of his smile. But we want to think about where they are on the page. Let's start with this one. So I'm going to come here about there. I'm just going to take it up and down. This becomes his hair, his fabulous haircut. Let's have a think about where this mark is for the nose. If that is the middle of my circle, it's just a very small distance to the right. So that's the middle of my circle. It's there and it's that sort of shape there. Now the smile, usually you'd, you think, and I, and I know you're all going to want to put the smile really low here, but actually the smile is smack bang underneath there, really close. So think about, just think about where you're putting. And it's not a big... It doesn't reflect the circle. It's almost like quite a nervous smile here. So it's just kind of straight with a little curve up there. And now we're going to start putting in some stripes because it is, he is a bee. We've got that first stripe there. And down here, we've got another one coming off there. And then here underneath the arms, just have a look where that stripe starts and then it goes down to there. Right, let's come into these arms and I really want to keep this as simple as I can now for the arms. So if I pop that above, you'll be able to see what I'm doing. So we've got that shape coming in here and I want to take that line down there for that arm. And here we're going to just take it up in a line to there so it meets the body. And then there, it's just a little line here. Can you see? So we're starting to get that in. And this looks complex, but it really is just about simplifying it down. We've got a stripe there. And then take it up to there and another shape. So think about the shapes. Quite often, if I'm drawing like this, I will turn my page upside down. It really stops me thinking, it's an arm, it's a hand. And it sends a message to my brain saying, it's just a triangle, it's just a line. And it really helps with the drawing. Right, I'm going to go here, put a little line on the top of each of those wings, and then two lines and two marks. And the same here, two lines and two marks. And that is us to finish the second stage, ready to move on to the final detail. <laughs> Okay, so what have we got left to put in? Some of the bits that you'll see when you pause here, they're like that I've shaded. Don't worry about shading those. We're going to do that at the next stage. And the eyebrows, we're just going to draw those in and then we're going to shade it. So let's have a look. I'll pop him um, just to the side there while I think about his hair. I'm going to start. I love the, the, his hair here. Now look, I'm going to give it lots of... There's no edge here. So I'm keeping my pencil grip very loose as it come up. Up and round and actually it comes all the way down to there so that's his hair in right let's get those eyes in and I'm going to think about the eyes in relation to the nose so if I go there bring it up here we'll pop it in we see there's the nose there's the eyes so go up in a little line and then we'll draw where they're going to be often with these Pixar characters the eyes are really difficult I find um, they're not as you think they're going to be you've really got to focus on the shape so I'm taking it up round in a curve and round to there I'm going to get the shapes in before I put in any of the details let's go we've got quite a big space there and it's like they're on an angle can you see that it's almost like they're on that same angle as his mouth because he's got his head look at where his head is his head is tilted so I'm going to go up, this one's slightly bigger, this eye, I'm going to take it right out to there and come down. I think that's about right, I think it is, yeah, because I'm going to think about that distance between there and there as well. Always thinking about the distances within each other, right, we've got this detail here which becomes important when we come to colour it where we've got almost like a rim around that's quite thick and black 
and then we've got that eye here. The iris is right in at the edge, and then we've got that shape. Don't forget the highlight. And then here on this side, the eye iris is over here. One, two, and then the shape. And again, a tiny little highlight. So we've got that coming in. Where he doesn't make sense, he doesn't make sense until he's got his eyebrows in. The eyebrows are so important on this one. And that one goes right to the edge there. I'm not going to colour them in. We'll do that at the next stage. This one there and look at the angle because his eyebrows are so expressive. And we've got those two eyebrows in. What I might do now, I want a little bit more room between the eyebrow and the top of the hair. So I'm just going to take that up there like that. That's better. And actually, we can get rid of that line there that we put in. So his face now is making sense. We've got a few little lines, just broken lines here around that you can pop in. So that is his face, but he's got these antennae, which are really important as well. So I'm going to start off with that shape there. And then coming around, keeping your pen, pencil really loose. And this one we're going to go with movie line slightly thicker at the top and down so that's his m10 i am we're almost done now so much done on him i think i'm going to bring that in a little bit there and then here that arm just stays as it is but can you see we've got this little hand now all i want us to do for that is to come around and put that shape in so get that shape in first and then i'm going to take it up around for the first finger down here for the second and then that is the third and that is it that's all I'm gonna do so it looks hard but it really really isn't we've got another little line here which I'll just put in Lucy because I'm gonna do that when I come to the coloring stages and that that is our finished Barry B. When you come to do the smile, we're going to take that end out there like that and we'll make it much bigger. Okay, let's get painting. I'm going to do all, all the um, painting here with my watercolour pencils and I'm only using three colours. I've got my yellow, clearly black and a little bit of the pale blue which is a cerulean blue we're going to use that and I've got my paintbrush all of these things come in your daily draw pack that you can order online if you don't have any of these things don't worry just use your coloring pencils use whatever you've got but you can watch what I'm doing and then you can see what colors you're going to use I'm going to start with the um with the yellow because if I start with the black, the chances are it'll end up going into the yellow and I really want to keep this yellow super bright. I'm going to go around there like that, down to that stripe because that is all going to be yellow. I can go around the eyes. And I'm going quite hard here because I really want lots and lots of... Um, the yellow, I'm probably going to have, end up having to sharpen it. Now, once I've done the face, I'm going to turn that to paint. The reason is, then whilst I'm doing this, hopefully this yellow will have dried. So can you see, as I put my damp brush on, it is immediately turning to paint. These are magic. Our no mess painting. It's such a lovely, sunny, bright yellow. There we go. I'm using quite a bit of water here. So it might take a little bit longer to dry, which is great because that gives me an opportunity to go off and have a cup of tea while I'm waiting for it to dry. Right, I'm going to put this underneath here. I'm going to 
come in and do these arms. Only one bit of black in there, which is that stripe there. And the only bit of black here, oh, I've got that, is around his hand. That arm is yellow. All I'm doing here is putting the paint on the paper. Let's do that little bit there. I love this, it's my favourite bit. Just touching that damp brush here onto that piece of paper and watching those little marks turn quite magically into paint. And all your control is here in the brush. That's where you control it. That's where you can stop it going outside the lines. Paint as neatly as you can here to get these lovely details. Okay, last bit of yellow now. That bit here, that is a black stripe. Actually, I think it's that is the back stripe there. That is the yellow bit. That um, to really up to there, and all the rest is yellow. That's how much paint I've put on. I started with a really sharp pencil, and it's completely blunt now. But that is all the yellow in. To here. And I'll just give that a minute to dry before I come on to the black. It's totally dry now. So I can go in with my black and I'm not worried about that, about that blending into, um, into the yellow. So I'm going to make, make sure that those edges are... Can you see what I'm doing there? Just keep my pencil, pencil moving, really. Maybe give him a couple of big, slightly bigger ones there to get that effect of his buzz cut. And then round here, there. And when you're colouring with these, it's not like normal colouring. You don't really have to worry about the marks that you're making because all this is going to turn to paint anyway. I'll just come round here and put in those. Pressing quite hard here on these. And I'm going to take my brush, making sure it's that I've got a really good point there at the end. Can you see how that's just turning those marks into paint there? Now, if I turn this here, I don't want too much water on my brush because if it waters it down, it'll start to look grey. But at the end, can you see if I, if I turn the edge first, these bits here, I'm going to take my brush out so I get that effect. With the brush, with this, these um, watercolor pencils, essentially, the harder you press, the more pe more of those pencil marks you put down, the darker that your paint will be. So if you've done some of the other daily drawers, you'll know we've used, and we're about to do that now. We've used, um, we've used it as almost like a grey on this. All right, I'm going to go in now with my blue, and I've got two bits of blue. I've got the eyes here. Also got here, I want to put in this, just these little marks, that not the top one, but just those there like that. And take my brush, make sure your brush is really clean because if it's got any of the black on, it won't work properly. Well, let's turn that here and there. And I'm gonna put loads of water on my brush here, just to turn those wings blue. But it keeps that mark. Can you see it keeps the mark underneath. That's part of the magic of the pencils. Right, I'll come back now. 
I'm going to come back and do the eyes right at the end because I want that blue to be completely dry before I do. But we'll put in the brows. I'm going to very lightly put a line in there for the nose and a little bit of shading there. And then we'll come back to the we'll come back to the eyes. And it's thicker at that end. Can you see there? So we're going to go a little bit harder. I'm not going to turn that to paint. I'm going to leave that, but I will turn the eyebrows. So just a tiny bit. It only takes a second. Coming around here. All right, again, I'm going to just use my pencil there to kind of outline it there and to outline them down, coming down here like that. But this bit here, which remember from the sketch, this was completely shaded in. This is the first of the stripes. So we do want that to be shaded. Let's take the brush. There we go. And then under there, let's just take it like that. I'm going to take the the line down here and across there Oops. and here so that's that arm done this arm here that's the more complicated one so if I bring that down we've got a stripe there and actually this bit here that triangle in there that needs to be black that's his hand and talking about his hands let's come on to this one here what I'm going to do here is I'm going to draw around it there, like that, really pressing hard. Drawing around it. I'll go quite dark there. And here, I'm going to go really dark in that stripe. Let's start with his hand. If I turn this bit first, and then I'm going to, I've already, can you see on my tip of my brush there, I've got the paint. I don't want, I want the fingers to still stand out. See how they're still standing out a bit there. So when I go round, even though it's all black, I'm carefully going round the hand because I want that still to stick out. There we go. I'm quite happy with that. So I'll just here underneath the arm. Here on this line what we've got is lots and lots of little lines. This is his jumper. A line there and then coming in here this is going to be black but before I come on to that I just want the black line at the top of the wings. Then I'm going to colour in here and in there. So let's just turn those last bits. I'm not touching that. I'm going to leave that. I am going to do that line and I am going to do that line. And if you want, you can take a bit of what's on there, which is turns into grey, and move that into your wings. That looks quite effective, I think. Okay, I'm finishing with this black here. And there. And the only thing we've got left to do now is the detail around the eyes. Let's check. Yep, that blue's dry. I'm just going to very quickly sharpen my pencil because I want it really sharp for this bit. I put in these little broken lines underneath. But then around, I want this to be really strong. There. So it always comes together in the eyes. So we've left it right to the end here. Remember to leave your little highlight. Same here, leave the little highlight. Make it nice and bold. Bring that in. And there he is, Barry B. Benson.
Hope that you enjoyed that. Lots of yellow, lots of black, wasn't there? But we have got a whole array of colours planned for you next week. We've got some great daily draws all lined up for you. So make sure you keep drawing. If you need or want more art this weekend, don't forget now there are stacks, stacks of daily draws there for you. So make sure you tune into the YouTube channel and keep drawing with us. We'll be back on Monday to start your week of homeschooling and we will see you then.